Good morning, dear old Ari watchers. This is the destroyer. The Army Deville 650V twin, taking it for the MOT. Better go and get some petrol first. Sounds great, doesn't she? He's a he, but I keep calling it a she. <laughs> wow, pop, 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 pop. No, she's popping because the exhaust pipe isn't standard. It's just something I've made. And therefore, you've got more air flowing through the engine, but you've got more. Um, coming out and uh, less fuel going in so she pops. So yeah there she is in all her glory. Uh, she rides completely differently to Christine. Christine's very sedate and predictable and um, well I'm going to say comfortable, very comfortable but again, again so is so is the destroyer, he's very comfortable and where he's lost about 40 kilos or, or more actually because you've got the two the two lamb chop panniers are gone, the hand grab rails have weigh a ton each, they're, they're gone all the fairings gone, the bracketry's gone Um, yeah, he's, he's so nimble, you can absolutely throw it around, you can really dodge manhole covers very quickly. I hope this is recording. <laughs> the acceleration is, um, well it's not eye-watering, but it's, it's completely different to Christine. It's fun, it's comfortable, noisy, responsive, and he's, he, she's going for a MOT today, so fingers crossed. I've done a lot of work on it recently. The headlight was broken as you saw in my videos earlier. I had a leak on the rear rocker cover gasket, sorted that out yesterday. So there was no puddle of oil under the bike this morning, which is nice. Now that fire tender up the front there, that's making as much noise as um, I will do here. Now the only thing that lets this bike down, if, if I can say it lets it down, is the suspension isn't adjustable. The rear shocks, you can set the pretension on it, but the front end is still trying to suspend the weight of a full Deville, uh, which it's not. It's as light as a pack of crisps now. So she is a little bit on the harsh side, over, over um, uneven ground that is. But um, I think that's what makes her more responsive uh, on the fat stuff, which is brilliant. Look at that old fire tender, look at that. Whoa, hey. Oh, lovely, I'm not going to breathe that in, am I? Oh, shit. Thanks, mate. Got the um, LED indicators. They're all LED all around. I changed the uh, fresh unit for an LED one. The indicators are Triumph Bonneville 7, 750 um, Scrambler, as is the rear mug guard and indicators and backlight. I've ta it's taken a lot to get to where where it is now. 
from my first initial video, you know, over a year ago, where it went for an MOT and passed. Is he going to let me out? No. Fair enough. He's on the phone, do you see that? Had his phone up on his shoulder. Crikey. <laughs> sort this microphone out, it's flapping around everywhere. Let's get some jungle juice. Right, neutral. Right, I'll catch you in a minute. Right, that's the fuel sorted out. Unfortunately, my little foamy bit on top of my microphone flew off just now, coming into the garage. My microphone worked loose. And it shot off. Right. Let's go. Mobiliser off. Let's go get Remo T. Let's go get to MOT. Don't pull out in front of me. Thank you. Yeah, such an awesome ride this. Sadly, I'm going to have to let him go. I'm going to need another project for the winter. Um, and I just, I cannot bring myself to get rid of Christine. And I can't keep two bikes. So. That's unfortunate. But that's life, I'm afraid. That's what I do. I I get some bikes that have been neglected. And I, I do stuff to them and I bring them back to life. Breathe a breath. Breathe new life back into them. And uh, on they go. So somebody is going to have a whole lot of fun on, on, uh, on the destroyer. He's got BMW GS1200 tyres on, all-terrain tyres. I think they're T70s. And honestly, I've never ridden a bike with as much grip as these bad boys. They were a few quid, I'm not going to deny that. They were not cheap, but then again, keep it in with the look of the bike. The, um, the apocalyptic, you know, aggressive army type look. Uh, I couldn't really scrimp on on the size, so it's dropped down a bit to 50. 80 kilometers is 50, if I'm not mistaken. Oh look, there's a trailer. Plenty of those around here, as you know. I adjusted the tension on the uh, the pre-tension on the rear shock yesterday tightened up a little bit it seems to have worked loose completely down to the softest thing so I'm gonna need, gonna need to look at that because there was one uh, one chef on the Deville group who did ask the question last week about his uh, adjuster doesn't click anymore you know is it okay and I think a few of us said yeah it's fine you know but uh, Mine doesn't click, and I've got a feeling that there's a little plastic thing in there that sort of ratchets away around as you turn. <clears throat> and mine's obviously come out, and it's obviously worked its way, it's unscrewed itself. So, we shall see. I've pre-tensioned it again until about halfway. But you can't do it all the way because it just shakes your fillings out. The slightest bump, and it's like, oh God. 
but I think yeah, I think she's ready for MOT this morning. All the lights are okay, brakes are good. I did notice a slight mist in on the right hand fork. Very slight, it might just be me where I sprayed it yesterday with WD to clean it, it might have run down behind the um, I've got the old rubber convoluted gaiters on because <coughs> I have done the seals very very recently so like last year let's take it left here and go into Portway Industrial State round to two brothers who are excellent bike mechanics and MOT specialists look at that absolutely but this, but this bike is the only bike I've ever ridden that makes me smile every single time I ride them. I cannot put it into words what this is like to ride. It's fantastic and the next owner is going to be so happy. You can nip in front of that lorry quite nicely. got so much grunt, honest to goodness. I've changed the front cylinder head because the exhaust port was absolutely wrecked and I could do nothing about it even if I could have... I've drilled out millions of studs in my time, exhaust studs, but this one you could have put brand new studs in but the seat had worn away and there was no way that was going to be a gas tight seal so luckily I've got a spare engine in the shed for bits and bobs. So I changed the stator and cover because that was absolutely rotten. And I put on the replacement cylinder head. Lap the valves in, you should have seen the cylinder. Well I think, it, I don't know, if you've watched the video of, of the rebuild of this bike, you will know uh, the condition of the cylinder head. The carbon build up, the carbon deposits before I cleaned it up on my parts cleaner. Yeah, going to go and see Graham and Glen Glenn at the garage for a 9 o'clock MOT. I've got my phone on me to get the tax done straight away afterwards. Uh, I'm insured on multi-bike insurance for the two for Deville, uh, the straw and Christine, so that's all still running. And she's booked in for an MOT and uh, as long as you're booked in for an MOT, you can ride a bike that hasn't got one uh, to your designated MOT station quite legally. So there we go, almost there. It's not raining, fortunately. I can never get bored with that sound. It's like a, I don't know, it's sort of like a cross between. Cross between a Norton 750 and a cement mixer. <laughs> I absolutely love it. She can poodle along if she wants to. Uh, or she can really lift her skirt up and get on with it. Anyway, we're heading into the MOT station right now. Just down here, two brothers in Vandover. Highly recommended. Know these guys for years. They're not here yet. I'm the uh, first one here. No, he's not even here yet. There you go, two brothers, motorcycle services, 01264 359 177. Now there's a plug if I've ever seen one. That's where she'll be going in a bit, in there. We'll just get her in neutral. There we are, nice green neutral light. I'm going to roll back a bit because he's got all the bikes in there to come out in order for me to get my bike in. And there you have a. What I've done is I've drilled a little hole in the front there. So the LED side light shines through. Put a 
just check those lights, I suppose, make sure they still work. Oh God, I flipped the switch the wrong way, then I thought they didn't work. Fuck up. <laughs> Oops, wrong one. Where's the pass button then? There it is. Yeah, that's all right. But yeah, there he, she is. Ready for the MOT. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Catch you in a bit.